Um, hi, I'm David Zeiger, and I am very happy to be here at Trailers from Hell along with you. Ry Cooter grew up on the mean streets of Santa Monica, and he went on to become one of the finest slide guitar players and most versatile and fascinating musicians around. If you haven't heard of him, get thee to the nearest streamer and check out his eclectic albums, his far-flung collaborations with African, Indian, and Cuban musicians, and then take a look at his film work, where he pulls out that slide guitar and hits riffs that shoot right up your spine, pulling you deep into whatever the story is. Harris, Texas is my favorite, but he also really tears it up in the 1986 Walter Hill movie, Crossroads. <laughs> That's because one of the main characters is an old man who may or may not be a legendary harmonica player and friend of blues great Robert Johnson. And the other is a Juilliard trained kid who longs to play the blues and ends up on a road trip that he didn't want. But because this is a movie, teaches him all about life and what it takes to be a real blues man as he calls himself. With that scenario, Cooter enlisted the truly legendary harmonica player Sonny Terry, along with a bunch of other great musicians, and they clearly had a great time creating one hell of a rocking soundtrack and many of the best scenes in the film. The old man, Willie Brown, is played by the great character actor Joe Seneca, who was himself a former musician and had been in the doo-wop band The Riffs. And the kid, Eugene, is played by that well-known kid at the time, Ralph Macchio, fresh off of that little karate movie. Not surprisingly, Eugene is white and Willie Brown is black. Now, I have to admit that when I started watching this again this year, I was thinking, oh shit, another story of a white guy who learns about life from a black mentor and in the process saves him plenty of those films out there, and I'm not going to say you couldn't interpret it in some way along those lines. After all, it's written by a white guy, John Fusco, his first, and directed by another white guy, Walter Hill, who had just made 48 Hours, another black-white buddy film. And that's certainly how a lot of films rolled in the 80s. But as I dug deeper, I found that there's a lot of really interesting stuff in this movie. For one, there's Joe Seneca, who steals every scene he's in. His character may be schooling Eugene, but he's more interested in using him. The story's built around the legend of Robert Johnson selling his soul to the devil at the crossroads to become the greatest blues player ever. And then it takes it further to wonder if his friend Willie Brown also did the same thing and now has to deliver on his part of the deal with the devil. The film's got a lot of fun playing with that concept. But what really takes Crossroads to another level is the music. There's a lot of love and deep respect for the blues and blues musicians that permeates it, I'm sure thanks a good deal to Ray Cooter. As I understand it, the film is today in the blues world uh, deeply loved and revered. That alone makes Crossroads worthwhile and just a lot of fun. So enjoy and draw your own conclusions. <laughs> <laughs> 